Happy New Year everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to run an existing GitHub Pages website in a Docker container on your local machine. So what is the, what is the issue that we need to solve here? We have an existing blog just like my blog here that you can see. This is my blog. It's hosted on GitHub Pages. And when I clone that blog to my local machine and I was trying to use the official Docker image provided by Jekyll. So there's a Jekyll official GitHub Pages image. So when I was trying to use that official image, I ran into problems. I had error, error messages uh, starting up that, uh, this website. So, and I solved it. I solved it by setting up my custom Docker image and I will show you how to do that. But before I show you the solution, let's see uh, some details about the problem. So let's look at the, uh, yeah, this is the directory of my blog here. So this is what I cloned from GitHub. This is the source code of my GitHub pages website. And uh, <clears throat> the thing is that this is an existing website. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. There are ports here, layouts, and I also have some God file, ground file images, some complexity inside. And um, if I look at, if I show you the, uh, my Docker images, so on the Docker images list, we have, uh, this is the official image provided by Jekyll. This is the Jekyll Docker image. And it has a tag called pages. This is important because this is the way, uh, this is the version that we need to use specifically with GitHub pages. And, uh, <clears throat> and if you try to use this image to start up a container with an existing uh, website, then you get errors. Or actually I had errors. I'm not sure if everybody's gonna have the same problem, but if you have the same problem, Let's, let's see how we can solve this. So the problem is, I have already run this because it's it takes a while. So when I'm running that image, so I'm starting up a container here. As you can see, I'm mapping the port and I'm mapping the folder. It's pretty standard stuff. So when it starts up, it starts installing some packages. And these are dependencies in my GitHub pages setup. And um, these are not part of the official pages uh, Docker image for some reason. And uh, so the installation starts and I have permission denied error messages. And this is because the official image has a Jekyll user. And apparently it seems that the Jekyll user in the official Docker image doesn't have the permission to, to, to run this setup and, and make this work. So what's going on here that I have a bunch of error messages here and in the end, the stuff is not working. So I just, I just wasn't able to, to make this work. I've seen that other people, they were able to use the official container or official images, Jekyll pages image with new sites. So they were able to start up new sites. Um, but in my case, with my existing pages, I actually have two sites on GitHub pages and I had the same issue with both. And the solution that I'm going to show you has solved my problems with both cases. So. So what I did was uh, this. It took me a couple of days uh, to play around with this. And uh, <clears throat> okay, before we go that, let me uh, just show you another part of the, the problem. So in my case, and uh, maybe also in your case, you have two files here in your repository when you clone from GitHub. There's a gem file and a gem file lock. So the gem file, if you are a Ruby person, you know that. If you, you use Jekyll, you probably know that. These are basically packages. Jam is the package manager of Ruby. And I don't know much about this, but this is, this is, I'm, I'm, this is what, what I know about it. So this is dependency, GitHub pages, and the gem file lock, it basically specifies the version number of every single, excuse me, dependency uh, these are the packages, these are the package dependencies of this package. So every single package that is needed by your entire website is listed here and the version is locked to the version that's, the, that's, that's standing in this file. So essentially the issue is that you have this, this file and, uh, and the image is trying to make sure that the same versions are installed. So the thing is, that when you start it up, it doesn't have a permission to do this. So how can we fix that? This is a good thing. So I don't want to touch this. Actually, I haven't created this file. This was created by, uh, by GitHub automatically. So I don't want to touch this. 
actually I want to use it as it is. So what am I going to do? What I did was that I started out from the official Jekyll Pages image here and um, I copied both files, so the gem file and the gem file lock into the working directory of that official image. I changed, yeah, I changed my working directory to the working directory. And this is the interesting part. So I figured out that I have to install certain Linux packages and I'm using APK is the package management manager of Alpine Linux because the Jekyll image is based on Alpine. So I added these Linux packages to the Linux system. How did I do that? I used try and fail methodology, which means that for every error, I was looking for the, the solution in Google. And once I understood which are the packages that are required and I added those, then I got new errors, another error, and then I Googled it again and again and again, I added these packages like this. So it took me a while, but this is a list. It's not really long, I think. Um, anyway, <laughs> it gave me some headache, but it's a short list. <laughs> and um, what I'm doing here, I also figured out that I need to provide a specific config to the Nokogiri gem, otherwise it won't install. So with these commands, I'm basically preparing the environment and I'm finally I'm running bundle install, which, which what, what it does is that it goes into the working directory, it looks at the gem file, gem file log and installs everything that is in that, in those files. So this is the point when we are installing the gems. And uh, so how you do this, this is, this is a Docker file and I get a Docker Compose file as well. So what I do, I build. So build will actually essentially build this file and create a new new image, Docker image. I'm mapping the ports. I'm mapping the volumes. So this is the working directory. I'm mapping the current directory to the working directory. And the the command that we are using here, this is the this is basically my command. So I'm using drafts, and I have two config files and this is to, to serve the Jekyll page, very simply. So if I go to, to my terminal and I say docker, so docker compose, compose up, then it will build the image and it will start up and, and, and on my website. So it's already running. So let me just show my docker images. So if you look at this here, this is the image that was created. So this is my custom image and it was installing perfectly. Everything is working perfectly. And um, this is basically the website that's running locally. So this is how I made this work. And uh, <clears throat> if you want to get the source code for my Docker file and my Docker compose file, I'm posting the link to my GitHub source code of this entire website just below this video. So just click on that, look into the source code and you can find all the details and you can use these things. So I wish you good luck and see you next time.